in like a post-apocalyptic sort of uh, way. Like there's there's no water left. There's no um, beautiful vistas like we have on Earth. Wow. Now. It's it's, uh, it's basically a gigantic city, and um, it's uh, um, uh, the home of where the emperor came from. So the emperor, okay. um, who is for all intents and purposes dead. Um, he is... What is up, guys? I hope you guys are doing good. So, Space Marine 2 is on the horizon, very close to being released, and we'll talk about the gameplay, the mechanics, and if you've followed the channel, we don't usually make videos just for the sake of making videos or for basically milking views. So, I'll be talking about the game once the game is out, but today I wanted to know more about the lore side of uh, Space Marine and basically the Warhammer franchise. I've heard about it all my life, but I've never gotten into it. So today I have the best person I've known so far who is basically knowledgeable in all of these things. And we'll be having a very you know chill and um, interesting discussion to say the least. And then for that, I've invited me, myself and I. <laughs> <laughs> all right well, that was a that was bad that was bad okay so we have ace bauer here thank you so much ace for being here he's a yeah. very good buddy of mine uh we go back i think a couple of years um yeah. back to afe yeah, yeah yeah we had some shenanigans over there and hopefully he'll be doing some stuff with space marine too absolutely so how are you doing well, thank ace? you for having me i'm doing great Doing great. I'm uh, really looking forward uh, to uh, the release of it. I got my my Black Templar shirt on, so very uh, nice. I'm ready to talk some 40k. Um, and uh, thanks for having me. Really appreciate it. Uh, my pleasure, and you know I'm honored to have you. So starting with the first few questions, what do you have in the background? What 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 is that picture? Uh, that is uh, my um, uh, YouTube channel logo. Um, it okay. Is, uh, in plausible nature, I have a YouTube channel myself. Um, we uh, we talk about uh, specifically Black Templar Space Marines um, for the tabletop uh, version of Warhammer. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, so uh, so, yep, that's just uh, what we typically when we live stream. That's what I throw up in the background there. So that's, okay, so that is that's very good to know. So I'll be leaving the link in the description for Aces channel. Make sure you check it out if you're into tabletop and the 40k Warhammer universe. So I'll tell you what I know so far, and then you can, you know, enlighten us. So yeah. I'm aware, or this is what I think. This is my personal opinion. I could be wrong. So uh, Warhammer is basically somewhat influenced, or maybe not influenced, but it's it, it has similarities to like Star Wars. So, so like it's intergalactic and. There, there are factions, right? And mm -hmm. basically, the the good side here is basically, you know, they they have their own leader, who's the emperor and who's the all powerful being. And the emperor has a lot of armies in his arsenal. Um, so there are like ground troopers, and there's like air force and infantry and all that. And then when everything like goes to hell, the last resort is basically his creation or something that is basically the last resort like which are the space marines like you know six feet more than six feet tall 500 pound super space soldiers um biologically enhanced and they're fighting the other factions which are the tyranids in this case or terminates no tyranids uh, tyranids tyranids and the orcs and everything and there is the opposition side as well like you know Luke, you were the chosen one, and you know you just chose the the dark side. And so some of the space marines or the imperial army has decided to um, oppose them, and they are called the chaos faction or something. Let me know about all of this. Like, what's happening here? Yeah. So um, one of the cool things that I like about Warhammer is set in the forty first millennium um, in our galaxy. Okay. Um, Earth is called Terra. It's basically a uh, gigantic it's basically coruscant only in like a post-apocalyptic sort of uh way like there's there's no water left there's no um beautiful vistas like we have on earth wow now. it's it's, uh, it's basically a gigantic city and um it's uh um uh the home of where the emperor came from so the emperor okay. um who is for all intents and purposes dead 
Um, he is, uh, he sits on the golden throne. He's technically alive, but he's basically a, uh, like a, a corpse on the throne. His mind is alive, but his body is dead. Um, so one of the cool things that I like about, um, 40 K is it's, it's not, um, it's not as sci-fi. I mean, Star Wars is really more like science fantasy yeah. than science fiction. Um, but it's not like high tech sci-fi, uh, stuff. It's very like, um, like grim. Uh, mm -hmm. and, um, the, one of the cool things that I like about it is while everyone looks at like the space Marines and the Imperium as the good guys, really there are no good guys um the imperium is just as bad as everyone else um they're okay they're nearly like a fascist faction um they have uh you know um they'll sacrifice entire worlds to you know for the greater humanity essentially hmm. um, okay. so if they have to you know um purge an entire world because they suspected of heresy they will do that you know okay so, um they're um they're just as bad as everyone else uh the um xenos factions the aliens orcs tyranids eldar dark eldar of course gw now has um you know proprietary names for them eldari um okay but uh when i started playing they were just eldar um they're basically elves in space um gw steals a lot of uh i wouldn't say steal but they they borrow a lot of themes and a lot of references from all kinds of pop cultures like um you know the tyranids are very much uh based on the aliens um they share a lot of similarities yes um, yes there's like a hive mind to them um and um something that you mentioned chaos so there are four chaos gods and those gods um there are people who worship those those gods uh, okay and they twist them and mutate their followers uh, with the promise of power. And okay. uh, so uh, sort of the big backstory of 40K is 10,000 years prior when the emperor came into being, essentially. And um, was, can know, I interrupt you? I'm so yeah, sorry for that. Yeah, of course. You're just like, you know, I have like a spaghetti in <laughs> my mind. Count. No, Info it, it's not that. I've just got so many questions. Okay, first yeah. thing first. You said the Terra is basically yeah. the source planet, right? Yep. And you called it a big city. It's like the whole planet itself is a big city? Yeah, similar to Coruscant um, is in uh, uh, in for, uh, Star Wars. Um, so while Star Wars has like a definite dichotomy of, yeah. dichotomy of good and evil, yeah. um, Warhammer, it's very much more gray. Um, some of the, um, uh, some of the Imperial factions, you know, it's, the Imperium looks at it as a, as a, a survival of the species. Okay. So they will do whatever it takes to ensure the survival of their species, which, you know, the way the lore is written is kind of like humanity is on the brink, hmm. um, you know, beset on all sides by chaos, by the, you know, the aliens or Xenos as they call them in yeah. the game. And so. is the emperor was the emperor okay it's a stupid question but i'll still ask so um <laughs> the as only far stupid as the, question is an unasked one exactly uh so okay where did this franchise start from that's not the stupid question it comes next where did it start from like board games or books or novelization how um, I believe now I didn't play it when it first started. Um, I, I started playing, um, Warhammer in fourth edition, which was, we're in 10th edition now. So fourth okay. edition was probably, uh, gosh, what year is it? It's probably 20 years ago now. Wow. Something like okay. that. It was like, right. It was like right around the time I graduated college. So yeah, about 20 years ago. Wow. Um, okay. And, um, so, but it had been. Warhammer has been a thing since the 80s, and I believe it started with um, some of the first things were board games like Space Crusade, I think, um, mm -hmm. was uh, one of the first um, like 40K, Warhammer 40K kind of uh, games, and it sort of evolved into a tabletop game, um, and they had like the first edition, and back then all the, me the miniatures were metal, um, and um, now, with the magnets course, and... 
No, they didn't use uh, they didn't use magnets. You had to glue them together. So, um, <laughs> okay. well, although although back then most of them were single piece, um, there were hmm. some that you had to glue together. But now everything is almost all injection molded plastic. So I still have to okay. build the miniatures. That's mm -hmm. part of the hobby. Um, but um, yeah, it uh, it started um, back in the '80s. I want to say Space oh. Crusade was like one of the first instances of uh warhammer and then it became a tabletop game and then from there it grew and they added factions and things like that you mm -hmm. know as years went on so okay so now it's time for the stupid question so since <laughs> since it started uh lore wise or anything do we know like the do we have actual like literature which shows or tells the emperor like the time when the emperor was alive and how did he die what happened yeah yeah so